Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to move to different pages in your application and use navigation. In this video, we're going to be using React Router Flux. This is a nice library. It's very popular um, and lets you create scenes and then each scene corresponds to a component where you have a React component and then you can switch between the different components in and out from different pages. So I'm assuming you have a basic uh, React Native uh, app set up and if you don't I have a video down below um, in the description you can click it and it'll show you how to set a basic React Native app up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up um, the routes so I'm going to create a routes component and I'm going to create that locally and then I'm just going to render that so we can get rid of this stuff. This is just the index of my uh, project. Currently I'm in source index and there, as you can see there's nothing else, it's just a vanilla project. Okay, I'm going to create a folder called routes and inside of routes I'm going to call creative uh, index.js um, and just do from here and we can get rid of that for now. Okay, so over here you actually just copy this, import React from React. Okay, so now we're importing two things, scene router and React Native router flux. And before I get too far, let's actually download this library because I don't think I've downloaded it yet. To download it, you can use npm or yarn. I'm going to use yarn. I'm just going to do yarn add React Native router flux. So this is an alternative to just using the navigator uh, that React Native supplies. Okay. Um, and we don't need this, uh, all this stuff. We can just pare it down. I like doing pure functions when I can. Export default, and then we'll do that. And tab it over. Okay, so right now we have three routes. Each um, each, each one, um, we, we right now don't have a component for it. I'm just going to create one page. That way we can see this. So I'm going to create page one.js and I'm just going to say import react from react. Uh, export default import and we're just going to grab text from react native so we can say text hello from page one Okay, so now we could create a, you're going to want to make a scene for each component that you want to switch to. So I'm going to call this page one. And notice how we have a, a root scene. You can also basically add some styling if you want to. You can have a basically a root component. So I could have a component here that renders on every single one of these scenes. But for now, we'll just keep it very basic. So we'll do page one. And then for title, I'll say page one. Now, let's show you what this looks like. So I'm going to refresh the app. And let that rebuild. And you notice how we can't see the text, hello from page one. All we see is this big page one. And that's actually coming from this title, page one here. And it's this is not really something you usually want for an application. So a lot of times I'll do hide navbar and that just gets rid of it because usually you want to add your own. And now we can see hello from page one. And also I can use initial. Initial means this will be basically my home page, my home route. Okay, and also if you're not too familiar with new, uh, with React or the new JavaScript, this is equivalent to doing this. Just putting, just adding it here, uh, the prop name. Okay, so to show you guys kind of how to switch between pages, I'm going to create two more pages, page two and page three. 
Um, so we can get rid of initial. We don't want to. We want to. We can hide the nav bar though. So the you could think of these as the pages in your application. So we will create a view, with text, and a button. So let's say hello from page one, and we'll create this as a view. And then I'm going to create some buttons. And what I want to do here is I'll say title, pay, go to page, page two. And then what I want to do is on press when they click this button, actually take them to page two. And how you can do this is you can import actions from React Native Router Flux. And then here you can say actions dot and then the name of your page. We call that page two. And then you can pass parameters in, but for now we don't have anything, so we can just pass an empty object in. And if we come back over here, you'll notice how notice how I said page, actions dot page two. This is the same thing you use as your key. So if I call this page nine, I would want to put page nine over here. Okay, and now I want to create another button for page three to take me to page three. Okay, so now I have two buttons. They'll take you to page two and page three. So I'm just going to copy this component and create a page two. And on page two here, I'm just going to change this to go to page one. And we'll say hello from page two. And now we can copy that and go to page three. So now we have all three components. Change that. Now I can go ahead and refresh this application since we made changes. And now we'll see this two buttons. Now we're on page one. So now if I click on this, you notice how it slides over and we can go to the next page. Now we're on page two. And I can click on this, I can go to page three, I can go back to page two, go to page one, and you can notice I'm transitioning in and out of the different routes. That's pretty cool. So that's how you switch between pages using React uh, Router. And this is really nice, a really easy way. See how simple this was to set up, and now we have all these different pages that we can swap to. And now what you, usually will do is set up in your app later is you'll come on over to maybe your page one you'll do some stuff and then you can actually call these you don't have to call this actions in your component you can also call them for example in a reducer or not in a reducer of course but say in a, a saga if you're doing some async stuff or maybe in uh, redux observable so you can call these things either with button clicks you can hook them up to anything all you have to do is action dot and the name of the page you want to go to so it's super, super easy to transition to different pages. So that's how you set up React Router, um, uh, or React Router in Flux, or it's called React Native Router Flux. Um, that's how you set it up. Now you have navigation in your React Native app. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'd be happy to help. Thank you guys for watching.